good morning guys um welcome back to my channel i am going to do a video about the toiletry pouch 15 and the mini pochette um first of all the size um i can't you can't really well you can compare the sizes as you can see the um Toiletry 19, 15 looks bigger than the mini pochette. But what I've noticed throughout using these both is this one fits more. And I think it's because of the structure of this one and this one not really having any structure. So I'm going to start with the mini pochette because I think it's the most popular one. And this is um, a great starter piece introduction into LV. Um, this was one of my earlier pieces. I had to have a mini pochette and at the time I had the iPhone 6 so it fit in there. The pluses don't fit and mine was made in France and the date code is SF0195. So I got it in 2015 and it still looks really good. I mean, of course, this is going to patina or whatever. I have like water spots and stuff. But I, I use this. I use this a lot, a lot, a lot. Like I use this enough to have a Damier, a Ben one. I have, I use this enough to have two, um, what am I trying to say? Two prints um, because it's, it's an everyday something that's found in majority of my bags. So a lot of people use it as a catch-all. So you will find a lip gloss. Um, some people carry a couple of lip glosses. I just pulled a couple of things out. One of the um, peel cases, the um, mirror from Chanel or Compact. Um, definitely a um, what is what are these for antibacterial can go in there. And if you're a woman, I usually always try to carry something. As I've gotten older, my menstrual cycles have changed a bit, so. <laughs> I can put that in there and because the canvas is so soft when it everything doesn't fit as just perfectly even though it may be a little disheveled it I mean it's so soft and smushy I could probably put some more stuff in here if I wanted to but um that kind of fits in there so let's see if that will all fit in this guy so that was the sanitizer So, once again, um, this is a makeup case, so it's considered to be a makeup case. So, we can put the lip gloss in there, the peels, the feminine products, and the... So, it all fit in there and is zipped. So, it does fit all of those things that were in here in here. This one takes up less space in your purse and then this one. And as you can see, it held the same amount of stuff. But I think this one would be used more for like makeup y products. So I'm going to leave my compact mirror in there and the two lip glosses. <laughs> I'm going to, okay, let's just take everything out and start over. So in your makeup bag, you probably find some type of um, compact. Uh, maybe even an extra mirror and a lip gloss. A lipstick and a lip gloss. I and it still you still have room in there, but the way that it's set up, you have to put the lip glosses on the bottom if you're carrying something as compact like this. But say you don't say you don't need the mirror because you have your compact. That'll fit in there. And then you have a room for, um, we'll put another, I didn't bring a lot of stuff. Oh, and a hand sanitizer. So that all fit in there. You got three lip glosses, a compact, and a hand sanitizer. So you could have like a lip pencil. Like these things kind of represent, you know, like lip pencils and stuff. Um, the question that everybody asks is, do you need both? I am going to be 100% honest. I bought this because I wanted all three of the toiletries. Probably not the best reason to buy something like this, but that's what I bought it for. I found that carrying my jewelry to travel in this works really well. So I can put 
my Pandora bracelets, um, my Apple Watch. I have two Apple Watches, so I usually take them both because one is um, the Nike one that I wear um, every day. And then if I'm going somewhere, I have nicer bands on my smaller one that I can switch out and make it look a little more um, like dressy, I guess. Um, so I put both of my watches in here or one of my watches in here. Um, I have a bag for um, like Tiffany jewelry. I'll put the bag in here if I'm carrying that, the little blue bags that it comes with. And that is how I carry my jewelry when I'm going out of town. So in the hotel, um, I can zip this up and keep it in the safe or whatever. If I feel like, you know, I, I guess I don't ever put it in the safe, but if I had to, I could pack everything up in this and know where all my jewelry was and it fits. So this is what I use for it. I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Every now and then to give this a break, I'll use this if I'm carrying a bigger bag, but this fits so good in my smaller purses. This, um, because the way the bottom is with these corners, it has no give where these corners are soft and smushy and rounded. So if it's you know like a space this one just it just works so much better than this one but this one is so freaking cute but like i said if you some people carry both some people put makeup in this and some people use this as like a catch-all like i said you can put your extra medicine in here um hand sanitizers and things like this and this will be strictly for if you need like to touch up or lip gloss so i'm not gonna say to not get this one because it does serve um, a really good purpose but if you're trying to choose between the two i would say go with this one because um, I don't know which one is cheaper, but I know that this one is just a lot softer and it is more pliable um, And putting things in it just seems to be a lot easier the opening, you know, this one is just stiff It's just it's just really stiff and it's designed for makeup I don't know what they designed this for I'm gonna say they designed it to be like in your purse to catch everything because it catches and holds a ton of stuff This is a Bath and Body Works <laughs> hand foaming sanitizer and it fits in there and that thing is ginormous and it fits it fits it fits in this one too but it gets stuck like because the material is like that it doesn't slide in and slide out but it fits in here it slides in and slides out really really easily and I still can put a lip gloss um, my medicine and my feminine products which is usually what i carry in here and most of the time i carry my mirror in there and oh. and it zips up now it's wonky and that thing is huge but i just wanted y'all to see how much you can put i mean you can see the difference in the sanitizer you can see this sanitizer Y'all all know how big, and then you see this one. This is the one that you get from Bath and Body Works that we're all familiar with. Like, this thing is huge, and it fits in here. So, if it was just, like, a hand sanitizer that you needed, um, a lip gloss, stuff like that, this thing is crazy, and it fit in there. So, um, that is what I use it for. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, I have not used this yet. I bought it yesterday from, um, oh... It sprays out like, like a man's, um, I like this. It sprays out like man, like men's, um, shape. Oh, it smells like, it smells like baked gingerbread. It's called iced, ice, iced, iced baby. Iced gingerbread antibacteria foaming mousse hand sanitizer. I bought three of these yesterday. Um, that is the cutest thing ever. So I just wanted to show you guys that I hadn't had a chance to use it um yet but i wanted to see if it fit in that thing and it did fit in my mini pochette i don't know if i would carry it in there because it's so big i could just carry it in my purse but wanted to show y'all guys you guys that that was pretty cool so okay that's all i have if you have any more questions about um these two pieces from lv go ahead and leave them down below or send them to me on instagram or whatever works for you i'm here to try to answer and help in any way that i can Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and follow me on the gram. I'd appreciate it. Okay, bye.